Hello, it is Friday, September 18th, and I just finished my last shift at Lowe's Home Improvement. I'm celebrating with a delicious peanut butter Culver's cement mixer. I had no idea you could get this in peanut butter flavor. It's the best thing, amazing thing ever. Peanut butter cement mixer. So I'm leaving Lowe's uh, because I've secured a position in manufacturing engineering with Rogue Fitness uh, because, as all of you know, my passion is fitness and I need to have a, a position that can support my family given the unstable nature of the gym business. And... I'm very excited to learn manufacturing, learn everything I can about that company, and my goal is to be in top management in the company within five years. Literally starting at the bottom. It'll be a great comeback story. Starting at the bottom, working my way up to the top. I want to record... My experience that I had at Lowe's, what I learned from Lowe's, what I learned working at Lowe's, it was a very humbling experience. I've been there since I started on April 15th. It's currently September 18th, uh, so almost half a year. I worked as a delivery coordinator, coordinating the deliveries that went out every day. And um, the people at Lowe's, for the most part, were awesome, super nice people, down to earth people. Um, you know, there are a few bad eggs like there is at any organization, especially big, large organizations. Uh, the worst of which uh, actually got fired. So it, it was nice to see that um, even in a large organization, if you're a shitty person, it's going to catch up to you, even if you've been there for a long time. And uh, they were ultimately fired, and everyone else there was just super nice. Uh, super down to earth, super helpful. I was very pleased with the way everyone, for the most part, not everyone, but for the most part, everyone helps each other. Even if it's not your job, um, they help get the job done uh, for the customer. They're very customer focused. Um, they bend over backwards and, and do things for customers that um, I think a lot of companies would shy away from. Uh, they don't even question it. They just do it. And that, that was nice to see that the customer was definitely uh, important to the organization and, and came first. Um, I liked the physical and mental aspect of the job. Uh, so having kind of a blue collar job, I loved working with my hands, having to work with my hands, having to move stuff at five in the morning, moving tons of appliances around before I'm even half awake. Um, it was a great challenge. And then having to use my head and being able to use my brain and my smarts and my computer skills at the same time. Um, that was really cool. And I, and I discovered that I really am more of a blue collar guy than a white collar guy. Uh, I just don't like getting paid blue collar wages. So I'm hoping that my position at Rogue will kind of combine that, but allow me to, to earn as much as I'm worth. Um, and I, I enjoy working with my hands and I enjoy working with the salt of the earth people. Um, it was interesting from the standpoint, working with people like the drivers of the trucks, uh, most of whom are completely worthless and just you know, looking for every excuse not to work and do a good job. Not all, but most. It was refreshing to have some that had a good work ethic. Like my man Moses, who was just, I could, you could just tell by looking at him and by the way he moved and by how he showed up for the position, for the job, that he was squared away. And you could tell the ones that weren't, which were most of them, unfortunately. I'm very satisfied and happy that I was able to 
go into a position without any knowledge of anything about the position, learn how to drive a Hilo, which I've never done before, learn two different computer systems um, just by them telling me how to do it and not having any manuals or any formal instruction, figuring stuff out on my own. Weirdly, it was very uh, fulfilling when we're missing an item for an order and you're searching all over this huge store and you find this one little part that's behind a bunch of other stuff that's not in the right place where it's supposed to be. Uh, that was very fulfilling when it when it happened and you were able to help a, a customer and they didn't even know that you did that for them. Uh, that was very fulfilling. Um, it was it was good to you know have to do difficult things that were way outside my comfort zone uh, and from anything I've I've ever done at age fifty four, I could physically outwork anyone in the entire store. The other thing that I was very happy about, but I think is somewhat of an issue for their company is for the most part, everyone through even the the store manager would do any job, no matter how dirty. I mean, he was out there busting pallets up on a 95 degree day, cleaning up garbage at the back of the store um, and, but I think that perhaps, uh, some of the employees in, in upper levels, uh, spent maybe too much time doing that when they should have been doing other more important things. But it was good to see that, that they weren't above that. Cause most of them came from doing that anyway. Um, it was good, a great feeling when, when people would come in, drivers, people interacting with our department and they tell us that we are the best receiving and, and delivery department of any store that they go on to and they go to all the low stores. So we were kind of elite. I love being elite. I love being the best at anything and any group or team I'm on, no matter what it is, I want it to be the best and I want to be a contributor and I want to add value. Everyone there, and I've only been there six months and, and everyone there was like, thanking me and, and telling me how sad they were to see me go. And, and that was, that, that felt really good. Um, I didn't expect that. And I didn't, you know, only being there for a short time. Some of these people have been there over 16 years. Um, they do hire people that I think really can't do anything else, which is nice. Um, and then a lot of people stay there for a very long time, uh, which is nice. So I'm working with people, you know, with two DUIs and like, this is the only job they can get. Um, and you know, it, it, it really humbled me. Um, it was cool learning how to drive the high low and getting over that fear of, I didn't break anything. Um, I didn't make any mistakes. Um, I think the worst I did was slice open a couple bags of, uh, concrete or, or sand. And that was it. Uh, I didn't, break anything significantly at all or even very minor um and i was able to operate that um at the end at a very high level uh, doing things that i never would have expected uh to do so um it was a really good experience even though it was you know very humbling I woke up between 3 30 and 4 3 3 45 a.m every morning, Monday through Friday, and work till three or four o'clock in the afternoon. And it was exhausting. And then I'd go to the gym and work there the rest of the time till 7.30 at night, seven o'clock. Um, but it was good and punching a clock, I, I hate punching a clock, but it forced me to do that. Um, and it, it, reinforced my belief that I can do anything I want to at a high level and um, no matter how crappy or shitty the job I can do it at a very high level and do a great job and uh, that feels good and I can punch a clock and I can start work at 5am 
and take shit from customers um, and have a good attitude about it. And that, that really feels good. And it, it gave me practice working for other people, working with other people that I didn't hire, uh, which is very important. And I think it'll, it'll make me even better at my position at Rogue because I had that experience versus coming straight out of having my own business for 20 years. Um, I, I don't think I'd be as good at, at Rogue as I will be now uh, that I had this experience. So thank you, Lowe's. Uh, thank you to the people I worked with. I will miss them. They're all really good people. And they work They work really hard for not a lot of money. Uh, some of the people I work with, is very impressive how hard they work for that company. Um, seven days in a row, no breaks, no, no weekends, 10, 12 hours a day, every day. Um, and... Uh, you know, it's, they don't make a lot of money. So it's, it's very impressive. Um, and that's about it. Thank you.